5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. This is about space. America's return to space with news and information on our U.S. space program is your host of About Space, David Denault. Welcome, and thanks for joining me today. If you have been following About Space the last few weeks, you've learned of NASA that funded a $1 million study and hired 24 priests and theologians to prepare us humans for first alien contact. And our question of where do aliens fit in and our panel who discussed what if aliens. Well, today it's time to tell the truth because the truth was out there. The missing two minutes of Apollo 11. Next, as America and the world is listening to About Space Today. Ever dream of an island getaway at an all-inclusive resort? Or going on an island hopping cruise to multiple island destinations? See sunbleached beaches and swim in the azure waters of the Caribbean Sea. Call today for your special discount prices to your island getaway. This is a special offer for About Space by calling 877-747-8631. And let's go and explore the islands of the Caribbean. Welcome back. There has always been speculation on what Apollo 11 astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong saw while on the moon. Not to mention Aldrin later sharing what he saw en route to the moon. I saw this illumination that was moving with respect to the stars. We were smart enough to not say, uh, Houston, there's a light out there that's following us. So technically, it becomes an unidentified flying object. While uh, Neil and Buzz were on the lunar surface, Neil switched to the, the medical channel and spoke directly with the chief medical officer, saying, they're here, they're parked on the side of the crater, they're watching us. And that's just the beginning. Command module pilot Michael Collins, circling the moon, looks down at the Apollo 11 landing site and reports to mission control. Columbia, this is Houston. Go ahead, over. Roger, no marks on the left that time. I did see a suspiciously small white object uh, with coordinates are. Go ahead with the coordinates on the small white object. Collins was not only reporting what he is seeing from above, but also to alert Armstrong and Aldrin on the surface. Here is what amateur ham operators recorded during the missing two minutes. Listen as Armstrong reports two spacecraft sitting on the edge of a crater and refers to them as ghost towns. Very clearly I uh, hopefully no trouble, <laughs> and uh, I can see everything quite clearly. The light is uh, uh, sufficient, and uh, currently it's upside down on monitor, but we can make out uh, a fair amount of detail. Also, I'm looking at one now that appears that I can see uh, some evidence of, of rays emanating from the uh, pipe. Roger, we call it. Yeah, I think it's all right. We'll suggest we stand by for a minute, sorry. Yeah. You threw a ghost on that link flight. Neil, this is Houston. Uh, did you copy about the contingency sample? Over? Mission Control asked Neil if he copied the instructions of a contingency sample, meaning what to do if they become aggressive. The recorded transcript allegedly went as follows. Armstrong, what is that? What the hell was that? Th that's all I want to know. Mission control. What's that? Malfunction garble. Ah. 
Mission Control calling Apollo 11. These babies were huge, sir. Enormous. Oh God, you wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you, they were, the uh, there were other spacecraft out there lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They're on the moon, watching us. Always remember, truth is stranger than fiction. But always stay grounded with what's been proven. It would be some 10 years after the Apollo 11 moon landing. In 1979, Maurice Chatlin, former chief of NASA communication systems, confirmed that Armstrong had indeed reported seeing two UFOs on the rim of a crater. The encounter, he said, was common knowledge in NASA, but he said that nobody talks about it. Well, join me next Tuesday as Neil Armstrong searches the Amazon for a mysterious ancient library months after returning from the moon. Join Don Meyer this Friday for another America in Space program and have your family and friends join us each week. Follow us on Facebook at aboutspace.today for launches and landings. And to all our listeners around the globe and here in the U.S., thank you for joining me today. I'm David Denault, and this has been About Space Today.